perfect, you don't make mistakes. I am loved by you. Hey, pal, what you up to? Mm. I cannot stop eating these. These are so tasty. Watch out. You are what you eat. What do you mean? Never heard that before. You know, if you eat a bunch of candy, you might end up getting cavities. Or if you eat some leafy green vegetables, you might end up running a marathon someday. Luckily, I don't run. <laughs> Me either. Ah. Mm. 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 Still, you're right. I should probably stop eating these and move on to something. Oh, what? What? This is the so-and-so show. So who out there likes ice cream? Oh, me, oh. me. Oh, to have a bowl of that frozen treat sweetened with the perfect amount of sugar, mixed with a hint of pure vanilla bean, and topped with freshly glazed strawberries and the whippiest of whipped cream, their flavors mingling together into a frenzy to toothsomely tantalize my taste buds. <sighs> Sorry, I really, I really love ice cream. <laughs> I'm a connoisseur, some might say. Yeah, well, the reason I'm asking about ice cream is because, as you may or may not know, the Ice Cream Sunday International Contest is coming up. Oh, yeah, the ICSIC. I'm a fan. Yes, yes, it's only for the best ice creamers in the whole world. <laughs> I happen to have a gift for making Sunday, so I've entered the competition. Oh, that's great, John. Yeah, thank you. Have you ever entered? Oh, no, no, I am not good at making sundaes. I just make a mess. <laughs> but eating sundaes. Oh, to have a bowl of that frozen treat. Actually, I, I should be in training right now, but there's only one problem. What's that? I'm lactose intolerant. Oh. So if I eat any sort of dairy product, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, milk, I get a bad stomach ache. Seriously, yeah. what about this? <laughs> Ah, so good. It's so good. <laughs> That's when it all started. Mm. Anyway, I can't eat the ice cream sundaes I make, so how am I supposed to know if they're any good? Why don't you try using dairy-free ice cream? <laughs> That's like asking Pablo Picasso to paint with a celery stalk instead of a paintbrush. Mm. No! These hands were made to mold cold milk. We don't question the gifts we were given. Say, I've got an idea. You have a gift for making sundaes, right? Uh -huh. And I have a gift for eating ice cream sundaes. What if we... Wear each other's shoes! Work together! Oh. What if we work together? Yeah! You mean... Okay, so you mean I make the sundaes and you eat them and tell me how, how good they are. Yeah! Wow! Yeah, I love this idea! It's time to play Helping Hands! There's got to be a better way to work together ah, than this. Ah, come on, it'll be fun. Why is there ketchup and mustard? Yeah, just go, 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 go. All right. <clears throat> Hello. I, Brandon, am now going to make a sundae. 
uh, with John's gifted hands doing most of the work. Now, John can't see what he's doing, though, so oh, uh, we're going to have to watch Gomer Pile reruns. No, work together. We're going to have to work together. So let's do this. All right, now the first thing that you need is to pick up the scoop, because we need, of course, for an ice cream sundae, you need to have what? Ice cream. That's right. Oh, I love, yes, when your hands are all over it. That, that adds a little bit of salty flavor to it. All right, here we go. Two scoops of, of vanilla. That's delicious. And maybe, um, you know what? That's a lot of ice cream already. I think we need to move on to the toppings. All right, and we've got a lot to choose from. We've got candy, we've got we've got some on onions. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's really, oh, mm, mm, that is delicious, delicious. Let's try some other tastier options, maybe some, some, uh, some relish. That's not also, that's not for ice cream. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, I'll, I, I wanna taste this too. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good, so good. Maybe something with sugar in it would be good. Oh, uh, uh, great, some cherries. That's great, let's pop one of those in my mouth. Uh, close enough. You gotta have whipped cream. That's chocolate, chocolate's good too. We like chocolate on our Sundays. So good, oh, wow. <laughs> yum, 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 that's great. Oh, no, no, what's that? Oh, good, oh yeah, whipped cream. Oh no, give me some of that. Okay, now we just need one little thing on top. Maybe some chocolate chips. How about that? Okay, some M&Ms. Let's just put those right on top. I think it's time to test this and see if it's any good. All right, let's get a good. So good, so good. I think we're done. I think we're done. That was. Oh, right. what, what, what did you think? Did I, will I win the contest? Not if you put onions on your Sunday. Why did you do that? Oh, that's just because next week I'm uh, also in the hot dog making competition. So I thought, you know, two birds with one stone. You know. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. Oh, you've got a little. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, what's the story today? Well, we're talking about our individuality and the special gifts we bring to the table just by being ourselves. And no one is better at being themselves than this group of people that pretend to be other people. That's right, it's time for the So-and-So Show Players! <laughs> In his first letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul wrote, there is one body, but it has many parts, but all its many parts make up one body. It is the same with Christ. So you know that our different body parts are made to do different things, but they're still a part of the same body. But did you know that when you become a follower of Jesus, you're part of what we call the body of Christ. And within that body, each of us is made to do different things. Paul went on and he wrote this, Suppose the foot says, I'm not a hand, so I don't belong to the body. Aww. By saying this, it cannot stop being a part of the body. And suppose the ear says, I am not an eye, so I don't belong to the body. If the whole body were an eye, how would it hear? If the whole body were an ear, how would it smell? Bad. Hey, I smell better than you. Oh, how would you know? You don't even have a nose. You just got these big old ears. Just oh, you know what? With around all your little there. toe hair, I don't yes. want to hear it, foot. Well, I spend a lot of time on this hair, as you, as you can't tell, I see. <clears throat> God placed each part of the body just as he wanted it to be. If all the parts were the same, how could there be a body? Hmm. Hey, I hear what you're saying. Yay! The eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you. <laughs> no, the parts of the body will not take sides. All of them will take care of one another. I'm sorry, hand. I didn't mean it. Yippee! So think of it this way. 
We all have special gifts, right? Things we're good at. But when we believe in Jesus, God helps us use our gifts in special ways. It's like our gifts are powered by the Holy Spirit, and we can do a lot with our gifts. But when we use our gifts together with other followers of Jesus, that's when we really represent the body of Christ. For instance, if I need assistance lifting something heavy, I might say, can someone help me out here? Hey, hey, I think someone might need our help. Where? I'll find them. You'll need me to carry you. <laughs> Up there. I've got something heavy to lift. He says he has something heavy to lift. Say no more! We'll lend you a hand, Kellen! Thank you! Yeah, high five! Or, yeah, and then, uh, yeah. All right! Yeah! Just like our body parts need each other to get something done, we need to work together with other people to make a greater difference in the world. Give it up for the so-and-so show players. Bye. 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 Paul ends his letter by writing, you are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of it. No one's going to be great at everything. We all have our specialties that we bring to the table. For example, I'm good with organization, but sometimes, well, sometimes I procrastinate and I need people's help to get things done. Or maybe you're a nervous talker, but you're a really good listener. Whatever your gift is, find a way to use it with other people. Let's see the body of Christ at work. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, Kellen. I thought the so-and-so show players did a great job. Yeah, yeah, especially the foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really got to the heart of what it means to be a member of the so-and-so show players. How's that? They stunk. <laughs> you, feel, you feel better? Honestly, no, the joy was fleeting. Uh -huh. I have something that can bring back the joy. Oh, go for it. It's time to recite our nine times tables. Nine times one is nine. Nine times two is no, eight. No, 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 it's time to oh. rescue Timmy from the well. Lassie, here, girl. No. Oh, it's time to run a 5K. Write a great novel. Reveal the question. No. Uh, actually, yes. No. Oh. <laughs> Reveal the question. Today's question is, what makes a great team? Uh, for instance, if you're playing basketball, do you just want the five tallest people you can find, or do you want people whose skills actually complement each mm -hmm. other? Or this show, what if both hosts were exactly like me? I mean, that would be a pretty boring time. <laughs> I was sort of expecting you to... Talk about it together. Uh, what makes a great team? Yeah, you are going to disagree with Until me, Until next John. time, I am John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the so-and-so show. Wow, look at the time. No, but, I mean, I thought when... Some uh, toppings that I prefer are, oh, oh, oh like the whipped cream. You know, this stuff is great. Mm, I love it. Oh, yeah, now it's coming. Yeah, look at that. So, so, uh, 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 you got to get a little bit. Oh, I'm, oh, almost. I'm not good at this. Here we go. Oh, whoa, <laughs> my back caught it. Just going to put it in there. Mm, um, oh, that's great. Oh, oh, yeah, I just can't get enough. Give me more. Oh, yeah, don't, you don't need a spoon. <laughs> <laughs>